Hi, it's Alexander Ewald, and in this video, I'll show you how you can use analog rhythm to sequence drums in Ableton Live. I love building drum racks with integrated sound effects and macros in Ableton Live because it allows me to custom tailor my drums exactly to the needs of my song. What I really like about analog rhythm is quickly dialing in rhythms with physical buttons. It just has a great workflow. So today I want to combine the two and sequence a drum rack in Ableton Live with analog rhythm. And here's how it works. First, set rhythm to USB mode. Access the trick setup and activate send MIDI for each track. Activate clock receive on analog rhythm and clock send in Ableton to make sure analog rhythm runs in sync with your track. In the port config menu, set output channels to track channels to make sure the pads send out the correct MIDI data. Also set pad destination to internal plus external to enable live sequencer recording. Now I have two options to sequence drums. Option 1, individual MIDI tracks. In Rhythm, select a different MIDI output channel for each track. Create individual MIDI tracks in Live. Place an instance of Simpler on each track and load a drum sound. Transpose the sounds up to octaves so they are played at the correct pitch. Choose Analog Rhythm as MIDI input and select a different MIDI input channel on each track. Now each drum track in Rhythm controls one drum track in Live. Now you can program a beat with analog rhythm and once you're done, record MIDI data separately for each drum sound in live. The advantage of this method is that I get individual pitch data for each drum track, so I can record chromatic sequences. Trick conditions, micro timing, and swing work. Uh, what doesn't work is retricks, but that goes for both methods. The main advantage of the second method is that all MIDI is recorded in one channel, so I can use a custom drum rack with complex sound effects and macros. What doesn't work is chromatic sequencing, so you can't program bass lines or melodies with this method. Set all tracks in rhythm to the same MIDI channel. Then set every pad to a different note, increased by one half note per pad. Create a channel with a drum rack. Select analog rhythm as input and set it to the according channel. Each of rhythm's pads now triggers a different sound of your drum rack. Once you've programmed a sequence in rhythm, you can now record it into one single MIDI file in live. And that's how you can use Analog Rhythm as a basic hardware sequencer for Ableton Live. It's not as powerful as with the internal synth engines, but if you have a Rhythm anyway, it's a nice thing to play around with. That's all from me for today. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments how you like the idea of sequencing Ableton Live with a hardware sequencer. And subscribe to the channel for more videos about music production and gear. Thanks for watching and see you soon.